Ty, this is your third throw from the full technique. Here it is full speed. Okay, let's take a look coming out of the back. Okay, we want this right leg straighter. Once you get to this point, we need to start falling in towards the center of the ring. I need to see these hips come here, and I want to see this right leg okay, kick over that bottle. Remember when we were working with my water bottle? Kick over the bottle and shoot forward to the center. Also, look at this left arm. Your left arm is wide open. You don't, you're not even giving yourself a chance to stay closed. But I do like how you actually close it up here. So if that's what you're going to do, that's fine. But look at where it is. It's right underneath your chest as opposed to being extended. Now, as you land in the center, you rotate real nice, but your left leg is, is floating. I need to see you shoot it down. And look at all the space in between your knees at this point. Right now, this left leg should be real snug to the right leg, real tight. And as soon as you get it down, that's when we release. But here's the thing. You're landing open. As soon as your right leg hits, your upper body continues to rotate with your lower body. We need your eyes and your left arm here. Remember what we said? I want you to keep, I want you to mark an X right here. I want you to find that spot with your eyes. So your eyes and your left hand should be there while your lower body continues to rotate around. Once the left leg hits, then you can attack with your throw. But even so, your release itself was too slow. I need to see much more pop out of that release.